be on camera, but you can you can talk. Okay, so there's lots of different things about relationships, and there you know it's not like what I'm saying is you know every situation is different, uh, and we'll have. Um, but I mean, I'm talking in generalities. If you're in a relationship and the other person, um, one of the things to do, like if you love the other person, you want to be with them, but they are, I don't know, if they're suffering with uh, addiction or depression, if it's, um, if it's not affecting you and you're happy with the situation, then uh, that probably means that you've transcended the person. When you transcend a person by doing a lot of spiritual work, even if they're in low vibrations, they have no effect on you. So you mm -hmm. can, if you want to be with them, you can still be with them, is that you transcend your ego being hooked in to any state they're in. So that's, mm -hmm. a, that's a safe place to, to be. Mm -hmm. Like with, uh, like I, uh, my mother recently died, but I lived with her. And I decided to, uh, to transcend my mother. I did love my mother. And mm -hmm. I decided to do all the work so no matter what she said or did, or whatever state she was in, it would have no effect on me. Mm -hmm. And I found by doing the transcendence work, actually, uh, I had a wonderful relationship with her. And she stopped doing all the things that I... It was like, after a period of time after I had transcended within myself, she stopped doing, saying those things and doing those things. And then I had a lovely relationship with her. So it was like, um, so that's one way, if you're in a relationship and there's lots of things, if you're being hooked in, you know, but they say things or they go into negative moods, if you go to the observer or feel your feelings out or do the Course of Miracles on it until it can have zero effect on you, then you transcend them and you can stick around with them. If you're getting hooked into them, you just transcend the hooks within yourself that gets hooked into them. You'll also be clearing their stuff as well by doing this process. Can I ask you, say yes. you transcend the hooks in yourself that get hooked in, how do you do that? Well, you know, so you might, so what, you know, if, if you're not hooked in by anything, then you're going to stay in, you're going to stay in a very high vibration. They'll have no, zero effect on you. So what are the hooks? I'll give you some examples from my mother. So her vocal tone, just the way she would speak. Yes. You know, I had to, I had to like, so you can go, I can go to the observer. What in me gets hooked into the, the way she speaks? And then I'd go to the observer and detach and keep doing that and detaching until however she spoke, in whatever mood she spoke, it would have no effect. So each time I did the observer, mm -hmm. I would go that. Also, if she said things which I perceived as judgmental, mm -hmm. then I'd have to go to the observer or feel my feelings or, uh, around those. Mm -hmm. And my intention, my, my intention when I'm doing transcendence work is 100% transcendence. Mm -hmm. So there's nothing you can do, say, behave, absolutely nothing that you can do that can, uh, that, that can affect me. Mm -hmm. So that's what you're doing. And I'm also practicing unconditional love. Mm -hmm. So the way I practiced unconditional love, apart from doing transcendence work, was my aim was, uh, the way I did it with my mother was because she... She did like me making her cups of tea. Mm -hmm. So that was a marker for me before she would say something and then I'd get hooked in. But then my intention was to process it as quickly as possible and once I'd process it, go back in and offer her a cup of tea. You know? <laughs> and when you say process it, process Lots it as quickly as possible, you mean by that mm. well, go to the observer? Mm. Go to the observer. Or if necessary, like in the early days, I might have to go to my room for a while, for mm. some minutes or some period of time, and feel my feelings, go to the observer, uh, just feel out the, the residue of emotions that have been triggered, mm, yeah. and then go to the observer. And my intention was transcendence. So if I could, once I'd cleared it all within myself, I'd go back in uh, uh, and then just say, Mum, do you want a cup of tea? <laughs> you know, and that did work. You see, I could, I, and then eventually, um, that was part of it. That was the unconditional love aspect. But the transcendence was ongoing. So whatever she, statements she'd make, whatever vocal tone, it was to be totally go to the observer or feel out all the feelings until it can have zero effect. Mm. And that was my aim mm. to have. There's nothing you can say. No vocal tone. No mood. 
Also, the thing was is to look for nothing from my mother, not look for affirmation, not look for her mm. behavior, oh, not, really not to have any expectations or outcomes. Yeah. Mm. Whatever she wants to do, whatever she wants to say, whatever political views she wants to have, is mm. to, have, to have zero effect on me. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the, another, actually, I wrote this in my spiritual book, it's one of the chapters, which is uh, not necessarily, but you know, like sometimes she would have political views which weren't my political views. Mm -hmm. And uh, I would usually just try and stay silent around those and not, yes. not, get, not engage. Mm -hmm. And she'd say something about America oh. which weren't my views around America. And then, you know, I would just stay silent because I found that, uh, you know, even to say something in those types of situations would would infuriate her, mm -hmm. Mm. you know. So it's like, so it's actually best just to like remain blank, yeah, and uh, remain blank on the situation. And she would go on and on about this view, and I'd just stay there and witness it, be the observer of it, and then she would suddenly change after she'd got it out. Mm -hmm. She'd change, and then and then things could get better. So it was kind of like just holding that vibration of just detached witnessing not trying to change or tell her she's wrong or, or, or engage mm. with her. And then I found after a period of time by not doing that, she stopped talking about those type of things anyway. Okay. So, so that, that's mm. having trans... So if you really want to do that work and you want to stay with the individual because you love them, uh, you, can, you can be around them and they can have zero effect on you. And you can, but you have to let everything go for 100% transcendence. It's a lot of hard work, isn't it? It's a lot of work. <laughs> it's a lot of work. And that was my mother and I wanted to do the work. But generally yeah. speaking, if, you don't, if you're with someone and they're triggering you or they have a lower vibration than you uh, and you don't want to be with them, uh, then, you know, for me it's like, why would you be with them? You see, it's like, I mean, that's kind of like, uh, you know, it's like... Uh, in order to transcend some, something, it's a lot of work. And generally speaking, um, life also has choices. Mm -hmm. I, I don't think, you know, it's like I have a certain amount of karma and there's also individual choice. So let's say I, if I was to engage in a relationship and they're vib they were gossiping all the time, they were always having negative opinions, they were indulging in behaviors and, and addictions while well, I, I, I had given up all of those things mm. and I didn't, you know, and they were always encouraging me to go to that low vibration, like have, you know, do mm. the, you know, have a plate of donuts, let's just binge or whatever, or, you know, let's go out and express a political view on, on how we should tell these people how bad they are. So, you know, then, you know, it's like, why am I staying in that situation? So my question around there is yeah. not so much around a partner, actually, yeah. um, but say with a family member, right? Mother, then what do you do? Because for me, I can't let let go of that relationship, you know. Yeah. And well, yet they they are all of those things, like mm. um, kind of yeah, pushing unhealthy things, so mm. much negativity, toxicity, even like calling me names and being <laughs> abusive, and, yeah. you know. Well, yeah. well th no, that, that was the thing of like, you know, no, I do, I mean, I can relate. No, you know, if I want to have that relationship uh, and I want to spend time with them and it feels that's the right thing spiritually to do, then I go to transcendence, mm. you see. That, I think, you know, with my mother, you know, um, intuitively that was a relationship I wanted to keep. Mm -hmm. And so I was willing, mm. I was willing yeah. to do all the work. Yes. yes. You know, but you know, if I had just had a friend or a romantic mm. relationship, I wouldn't do that work, mm -hmm. and I would mm. see that it would actually be a spiritual choice to let it go. Mm. Because why? Yeah. Why am I choosing? Yeah. Why am I choosing to stay in that? Because I'm not going to allow myself to invite something better mm. into my life. So I'm holding on. Probably my ego likes the drama, mm -hmm. or my, um, or um, I like a life with lots of arguments. I like that drama, that excitement, you know, or I haven't got the faith. Mm -hmm. There's some nice bits, but there's some really horrible bits. I haven't got the faith that if I let that go, that, that, and I let my vibration increase, that's something better. 
can, mm. can, can come for me. Mm. Like, okay, you know, I like talking about politics, <coughs> but I don't like it, the fact that the person is binging on donuts all the time. You know, mm -hmm. so maybe I can find someone who's got the same views on politics. I don't really have any views on politics, but same view on politics and isn't a, a, a crazy, insane addict. Mm -hmm. So it's just some too fear, out of mm -hmm. fear, I want to hold on to the, the, the things. So mm -hmm. I think for, with me, what I have against so I'm saying it's also it's relationship, the relationship. Okay. You know I mean? But the family. The family, okay, the family. There, yeah. and like when you're talking about drama, that's how it feels. Like for me, say last weekend, there was like so much drama, and I kind of mm -hmm. kept my distance because it, it just felt too much. Oh, I see, okay. Like, you know, literally names and, you know, it was just... Well, this was the thing I, I, I said before. In the beginning with my mother, I had to take... Well, I didn't say it probably. I had to take it in small doses while I was doing the transcendence work. So I'd have, like, a few minutes of exposure, and then I'd be triggered. Mm. You know, so they'd say something or in a certain manner or something. And then once I'd got the trigger, I'd have to, like, take some time out mm. to, like, feel the feelings, cancel the beliefs. Mm go to the observer, and then go back again for another dose. Yeah. And then it'll be less, and then I'll have yes. another go, mm. and then I'll go back, and then eventually I'll go back and have no effect. Mm. But I wouldn't go in there and spend like, you know, 10 hours mm -mm. when I haven't done it, when, I, when I'm already totally gone within five minutes. Mm. So as you do the transit, you can stay for longer, mm. and you're not, not get affected. So you, I, that's how I do it. I do a bit of work, and then I transcend. Mm. And then I go back for some more, and then I transcend. But I don't allow myself to get disconnected for a long period of time. Because mm. once I'm disconnected, I'll just take the time out to transcend that and then go back. Mm. And Because there's no point in me sitting with someone when I'm totally disconnected and they're totally disconnected. Mm. Mm. And it's probably going to be more valuable. I'm doing them a grace by um, seeing them, getting hooked in and transcending that hook. It will benefit me, it will also benefit them, is my experience. So, you're, I'm doing a great grace for my mother. I found that actually, you know, she stopped talking about those things. We started to have, you know, we had years of loving conversation. Because mm -hmm. I transcended everything. Mm -hmm. So, just by me transcending it, it has an effect on her mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. So, okay. so in that way. Yes. Okay, really yeah. any, any other questions on that topic? Well, yeah. um, somebody, I think she, she was a um, Christian yes. preacher, she said there is somewhere in the Bible that says um, you should not be yoked with unbelievers, or in other words, if you're trying to raise your vibration, then you have somebody who is constantly bringing you down. She was looking it from the um, point frame of mind um, whereby you're living with a partner or a friend mm. or sibling um, but more so relationship with a friend or a um, or husband or partner and um, she was saying if that person is always low 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 you know doing all this crazy thing because she had to it got to a point the first ma husband she was with he was so his behavior was not good stealing things you know mm -hmm. bank robberies and all of that okay. yeah she had to leave him yeah. and now this second husband it's like this second husband helped her to become all that she is now mm. a much better person mm. So she was saying that she's still been with that man. Mm. She wouldn't have experienced 40, yeah. 40 years of marriage with this man she's mm. with now. And now her life is in a good position. With the other one, she said depression. She, just, she was just down, down, down in her emotion all the time. Yes. So she had to leave. Mm. Yeah. Yes. So she's suggesting that it's not a good idea to be with somebody who is, you know, and she said especially if you're with somebody who doesn't believe or have that believe in the Creator or there is a God, mm -hmm. you know, that is always opposing or attacking. 
where your own belief system well yes yeah that's going to be very difficult you know it's like uh, because there will almost be like a two people have been at totally trying to bring each one to a different system mm. Mm. you know like uh, you know I, I think atheism is truth there is no God you know yes. what's this stuff about God and then for you yeah. it is so that mm. might be very difficult and um, I mean my own thing is as you know when um, mm. If you do the spiritual, you get. I think well, well, another good thing to do with relationships is to do a lot of prayer and meditation <clears throat> to see intuitively mm -hmm. what 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 is the right thing that mm. God would have you do. Yes. Some some things, you know, it, it just depends on each situation. In some situations, mm. the intuition is to do the transcendence work. Yes. And to mm. forgive or to transcend or to observe. Mm -hmm. And that will feel like the divine instruction from God intuitively through prayer and meditation. For some things, it's just your ego is attached to the drama, the excitement, or there's no there's fear of letting it go. It's familiar, mm -hmm. like love addiction and codependency. Yes. You know, well, you know, he 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 beats me up every now and then, but I'm used to it. Mm -hmm. You know, and I'm too yeah. afraid of trying something new. Yeah. So I might mm -hmm. as well stick around. Anyway, no one else will have me. So you know, so yeah. this kind of stuff can go on. In that way, so mm. some, was there something you were going to say? No. Mm -hmm. yeah. So yeah, I, I think so. But you know, I think the more um, oh yeah, there's another point. People who are doing a lot of, uh, from my experience, people who are doing a lot of accelerated spiritual work mm -hmm. when they're with a partner that does no work at all, mm -hmm. um, it's it, it can be very difficult because every year you're jumping up mm -hmm. in your vibration, mm -hmm. and what you know, how the two of you sort of got together, it can, it can sometimes create difficulties mm -hmm. if the other person is not also uh, growing for some people yeah. as well.